Let's talk about open world role playing game balance. Out of all the single player genres, this one requires the most careful balance, to the point where that's what killed the genre. In the last video, I talked about this a little bit. The open world RPG genre has been replaced by the open world action adventure game genre. I know they still use the open world RPG tag, but think about it. Does the open world provide you with role play experiences, or does the open world provide you with action adventure experiences? Now, there's nothing wrong with action adventure games, but I think it's fascinating that this genre died due to this subject, and I think we can learn a lot by talking about it. So, let's talk about it. What is the main draw of an open world RPG? Well, for many of us, the main draw is the fact that we can play anybody in an open world. As long as we fit into the fiction of the world, we can be whoever we want. We can be a knight covered in iron. We could be an old wizard with a hobbled back. We could be a fisherman or a farmer or a blacksmith, whatever we want. These characters all fit into the fiction of the universe that we're inhabiting, so surely there's no problem with us taking on these roles, right? It's a role-playing open world, and these are the roles we'd like to play. Well, I guess that depends on how the game is balanced. Let's talk about the elephant. Can you be a fisherman in Skyrim? Now, Skyrim has fishermen in it, dozens of them, but I don't know how they manage it, because if I try to do that, Skyrim kills me. Skyrim is obsessed with combat. You cannot play a non-combat role because Skyrim will kill you. Well, okay, that's 99.9% .9 of all possible fantasy roles off the table. You must be a combat class. You cannot be a non-combat character because the game will kill you. That's the problem with the balance of Skyrim. And it's actually much, much worse. I know that everybody has played Skyrim, so think back upon your experience. Remember how you started as the classic starting class of Fighter Mage Thief Cleric? And then you drifted into, um, what did, what did you become? Was it a ranged rogue? A stealth ranger? Yes. Yes, it was. That's odd. Why, why did everybody become a stealth ranger? Now, the funny thing about this is if you work out the math, it's probably easier to go through the game as a wizard. But everybody chose to be a stealth ranger instead, even if they wanted to be a wizard. Why? Well, every time you get into a combat situation in Skyrim, the game hands you stealth and range. You start unnoticed and at range. Those are resources that the game constantly gives you. So obviously you're going to try and use them. It feels wrong to try and be a knight or a mage because you have to throw those resources away. The game says, here are some valuable resources, and you say, screw that, I'm going to punch him in the face. It feels like you're playing the game wrong if you don't play a stealth ranged character because the game constantly hands you stealth and range and says, are you sure you don't want to try using stealth and range? Here's some more stealth and range. There's no rule in Skyrim that says you can't be a knight or you can't be a wizard. But chances are very high that even if you try to be a knight or a wizard, you're going to drift over into that ranged archer stealth class. So you can't really be any combat class either. Given the uh, priorities of Skyrim, you're almost certainly going to end up as one specific role ranged thief. Well, if you're going to make a game where you have to be one specific role, you might as well make it an action-adventure game and, uh, you know, put a beloved character in there like Link, Mario, Sonic, uh, anybody else you want to mention. 
Yeah, and just make it an action-adventure game. If your balance is going to restrict the roles we can play down into one role, just stop with the roleplay part and force your game into the action-adventure genre where it's much easier to make things pop. This is by no means limited to Skyrim. I know that a lot of people think that Skyrim dumbed this down, but it, it works way, way worse than that, because even if the game is very complicated, we still have balance issues that force it into this action-adventure portion of the universe. Uh, let me give you an example. A lot of open-world RPGs are Pathfinder. Pathfinder is basically nerd D&D, and that means that Pathfinder's whole combat system is set up around the idea that each of the characters in the party is being played by one specific player. And this means that in combat, every single one of the characters has to feel like they have equal weight. Because the players want to have equal footing. You can't ignore a player or downplay a player or they will walk. So everybody has to matter. And the way the game does this is they separate the combat into different roles, four and a half or so roles. And if you've ever played an MMORPG, these are often very explicit. Tank, DPS, healer, caster, something like that. The combat in these games is specifically balanced to pull every single one of those roles into the foreground so that every single player can feel like they have something to do and can shine. But if it's a single player open world role playing game and you're the whole party, why is it still structured like this? You're forcing the entire party to be a carefully balanced machine where every character in that party always has equal weight, even though nobody's benefiting from that. Your combat balance is wrong. Your combat balance is pulling people, pulling various roles into combat, even though there are no longer any players who benefit from that. So let me give you an example. I'm playing an open world West Marches style game, and I make a party that contains nothing but monks. I have six monks in my party, and we are wandering around the world being monks. This will not work because the game is balanced around the idea that there are three and a half other roles that need filling in this party. I cannot be a band of monks. The game will kill me. The entire concept of a challenge rating is built around the idea that the party that you're challenging is going to be very carefully balanced across the spectrum. If someone comes in with a party of six monks, that's not going to work. They don't, have, they don't have any DPS. They don't have any healing. They don't have any magic. They're just going to die. That's the balance. But that's a bad balance because I want to play a fucking karate school. I want to be a party that has a purpose. I want to have some personality. I want to be a roving band of martial artists trying to right the wrongs of the world. But the game won't let me. Now, the game has all of the tools I would need to live out that fantasy. It's got challenges that make sense for my martial arts school. My students can wander around righting wrongs, rescuing people, fighting criminals, fighting in tournaments, going into the depths of a tomb to find a long-forgotten scroll of wisdom. These are things that already tend to exist in open-world role-playing games, and they would work fine if I was allowed to do them. But I'm not allowed to do them because the balance of the game says I'm not. It will kill me. This is a critical core problem with our obsession with using tabletop games, even putting aside the fact that they always force us into combat roles no matter what. Those combat roles are so ultra-specific that we don't really have any flexibility about what role our party can play within the world. We must play this exact kind of adventure group. There is no other option. We are being limited into one specific role-playing opportunity, one specific role. 
And it's only a matter of time until that damages even this part of the genre and we get some kind of setup where it's just basically an action-adventure game, but turn-based. You're forced into specific character. You know, we've already got that. Linear RPGs do that. We're going to have linear RPGs that are open world. This is just not very much fun. I want to be able to be whoever I want to be. Think about The Sims. How much fun would The Sims be if you were forced to make a mother and a father and 2.4 children for every single playthrough? It would radically limit the kinds of experiences you could have in that game. And the exact same is true here in these open world RPGs. If your balance is wrong, your open world RPG suffers because you cannot allow the player to take on any roles. You've restricted the kinds of roles they're allowed to take on by balancing the game around a specific role. And that's what killed this genre. According to me, noted expert, noted by me. See ya.